Hey guys, it's 101R Smith here. I want to wish everyone a safe Thanksgiving and a very happy holidays. This is the time to be with friends and to enjoy yourselves and enjoy building what you have. Now, in the meantime, if you don't want to be with your family and you want to build Gumpla and you just want to review Gumpla, I have a review for you. This is the Master Grade Gundam Death Scythe Hell Custom. Here we go guys, here is what I'm calling the end to my Gundam Wing Endless World Trilogy. I've reviewed Sandrock and Ultron, and I've already reviewed Heavy Arms very early on in my channel. So now, here we are with the end with Gundam Death Scythe Hell. And for some strange reason, this is one, along with Wing Zero, the few of the Endless Waltz kits that aren't P Bandai. Even though, if we want to be fair, Depths of Hell does technically fit the mold for it. I don't know why it's not peeping. I, I'm not complaining, though. But here we are. This is one of the more iconic Gundam model kits and one of the more iconic Gundams from Gundam Wing. A lot of people who grew up in the early 2000s and the 90s, like I did probably were watching Gundam Wing and Death Scythe Hell and especially the custom version definitely brought them into the design aspect of Gundam Wing and this kit along with Duo Max Belt is very loved by people. I'm so happy that I got to build this. It's one of my favorite designs altogether and I'm just happy that I didn't have to pay a P Bandai price in order to get it and I'm just happy to have it as part of my collection and let's see what it can do. So. Let's not waste time here. Let's open up the box and see what we have. Gundam Depth Scythe Hell is a color swap of the Master Grade Gundam Depth Scythe EW. Bill for build, it's the exact same kit, just a slight color swap and a different backpack. You're going to get almost the exact same accessories that came with Death Scythe EW, minus the shield. But otherwise, you make up for it with the badass cloak. And the cloak actually works fairly well here. It's separated into different pieces. It's held together by different inner frame pieces and polycaps. So it's going to look good with its matte finish. And hopefully it will look good and not have any balancing issues with the Gundam. Otherwise... It's just like with the other wing kits, if you built one inner frame wise, you built them all. This should be a straightforward build, easy and enjoyable. All put together and now we have the Gundam Dev Scythe Hell Custom. And this is a pretty good looking model kit. However, there are two main inaccuracies in the model kit that aren't in the anime. First of all, this uses a purplish gray. The color for Depth Scythe Hell should be a dark gray or neutral gray. That is the color scheme of the old 1100, the anime model, and even the CGI art in the manual itself. Secondly, they give you metallic green stickers for the cameras. However, they should be orange. I was able to paint that with a Gundam marker and some silver paint. So otherwise, those two inaccuracies aside, this is a very good looking representation of Depth Scythe Hell. Now let's come together and look at the articulation here. We're gonna start with the head and it can go up and down and it can go side to side, but you need to be mindful of the shoulders. The arm can go about that high and it can turn 360, but the wings really block it, unfortunately. You get a double jointed elbow, which works fairly well. You get some waist posability that isn't hampered by the backpack. All the side skirts, front skirts, and back skirts can go up. And you get a very beautiful double knee bend. And you do see some shifting in the knee armor as well. 
The ankle and the feet are both on ball joints, so you can get some good articulation. And you get some slight movability in the toes, but please be mindful, they are actually sharp and you can hurt somebody with it. Otherwise, Death Scythe Hell is a poser and you can get most of the poses that you want out of it. It's a little hampered by the backpack, but it's okay because the backpack looks so awesome. However, the cloak is kind of wonky, so they want you to slide some of the red pieces interconnect with each other, but the problem is the connection is so small you can't really hook them well, so it looks kind of wonky. In this kit, you're only getting one accessory, and that's the beam scythe, and it's awesome. Very easy to use, has little to no weight to it at all, and it can get some very nice posing, especially if you get it on an action base. It can look very menacing too when you open up the wings, like it's about to jump and hack you. For comparison, we have Ultron Custom with Depth Scythe Custom, Heavy Arms, and finally we have Sandrock Custom. And now you get to see four of the five Gundam wing suits together. So, what's the verdict on Death Scythe Hell Custom? It's awesome! It's a great kit! See, we're lucky in that we actually have the option of having both Death Scythe and Death Scythe Hell Custom together, not keep in that. Which means they only, they are about the same price, they only go for about $40. So it's really a matter of what version of Death Scythe do you like, and which one is more iconic and memorable to you. Posability is great. The look, even though it's slightly off from the anime, works very well for itself. The accessory, you're only getting one of it, but you only need one of it. And it's still very well done. And just the look of it. You know, you're getting, you know, the God of Death, Shinigami. This thing looks badass. It looks like a Grim Reaper that's about to take you to hell. And I love this design. I'm so happy to finally have completed my Gundam Wing collection. I wish the gray was more of a neutral gray so it would have matched the old 1100, but I guess maybe that's slim pickings and a bit of a nitpick for me. But you can't go wrong. You're only paying $40 for this game. Its build is a bit standard, nothing really fancy or to show off in terms of articulation and detail. Matter of fact, there is some panel lying here, but you're not going to really see a lot of it due to the dark colors in this game. So detailing, if you're looking for that, it's not really here, but if you're looking for an awesome gun to make it you and look menacing, this is what you have. You have to excite And I'm glad that it's in my collection, I hope you add it to yours. Once again, I just want to thank everyone for hanging with me, and I hope everyone has a happy and safe holiday season. Please drink responsibly, don't overeat, unless you really want to overeat, that's on you. But just have fun, and remember the spirit of the holidays. This is 101R Smith, and I will see you later. Peace!